namaste and good morning welcome we were doing uhv3 and we are on lecture 10 and 11 um lecture 10 and 11 mostly is talking about the exercises exercise 1 and 2 and in our practice sessions we have been doing we have finished exercise 1 and in exercise 2 we have done the first three steps so we were just reflecting on this um the assignment that we had given about observing ourselves and our interaction with the body directly so all that we learnt about self and body as per the chart that the needs are different the activities are different response is different recognition and fulfillment in the body is definite in the self it is a result of on all this observation we can do through the exercises so earlier we may have gotten it as information now we are trying to directly see it within so uh, yesterday there was some question also which we couldn't get to um due to lack of time so if we can have that question again we can respond to it or if there are any other observations or questions we can do that also and then we'll move on to step 4 of exercise 2 uh, i asked one question Actually, uh, when my brother was affected with his myeloma, he was big, um, like with a stroke also. Yeah, After that, um, briefly, if you can. Uh, yes, yes, briefly, briefly. Then after that, whenever I am uh, sitting for some observation at all, this thought is coming to me about him. So I am diverting myself, and I am coming back to myself and other activities. I am fully engaged with other activities, but. at times when i am thinking the some heaviness but what is worrying me is whatever in me is only i can share with others no so i have to keep myself in harmony so for that in what we have to work yeah yes. yeah so it's the same process that we have been doing all along one is we must try to identify within ourselves you know if i observe my imagination i will be able to see my thoughts and at the base of this feeling so until yeah. and unless i pay attention to this it's not going to help so you know something is bothering me but i divert myself that means i have not taken care of the problem isn't it it's like if you yeah. have a wound on your body mm. and you cover it with a bandaid mm. now you don't see the wound but it hasn't healed yes. isn't it it is still there mm. Mm. so when the bandaid comes off again it will be there because we haven't treated it mm. isn't it yes so this heaviness in you whenever mm. you have what you call heaviness you are not comfortable within no this is what yes, you are saying yes yes uncomfortable within means you are not in harmony you are unhappy yes. Hmm? yes that means you have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you you have to see what kind of feeling you have then you can get to why you are having that feeling when we do these further steps in the exercises we'll be dealing with that issue also okay. so what happens is that lot of times there are so many thoughts so many feelings they keep changing and we deliberately divert our attention somewhere else because we don't want to think that we don't want to be unhappy so we avoid just like in the body when you have pains in the body, 
Mm. You avoid putting pressure on that part of the body. You can mute yourself with some noise. When you have, say, you have pain in the foot. Now you, when you walk, why do you walk with a limp? That limp just means you are putting pressure on the other foot, but not on the one with the wound. Why? Because it pains. So you avoid putting pressure there. So similarly, just avoiding the situation will not help because all these thoughts, these feelings are within you. They are not somewhere outside. So at this moment, you were able to switch to something else. But we haven't really taken care of it. We haven't resolved it. So it is still there and it will surface at another time and bother you again in some other way. So until and unless we resolve it. How do we resolve it? Pay attention. Pay close attention to the thoughts, the feelings. You just have to observe. Don't try to change anything. Don't try to force yourself to think something else. Those are all reactions. So rather than do that, just try to observe. What am I thinking? What am I feeling? Even if we are not able to do it right now, as we keep paying attention, as we keep observing, slowly we will find that we are able to see thoughts also, feelings also. Then you can refer to the natural acceptance and see, is my feeling in line with the natural acceptance or not? And if it is not in line, can I make it in line? So if you make it in line with the natural acceptance at that moment, you will find immediate relief, calm, comfort. Mm. Then you know that this is the right way. This is the mm. feeling that you should have. And when we do this again and again, in this process, slowly we'll be able to see the sanskars which are driving these feelings. Those very strong assumptions that we have from many, 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 many years. And that is driving our feeling and we are not even aware of it. So they, those will become visible to us or we will become aware of them. And then we can decide some sanskars are worth keeping because they are in line with natural acceptance. Those we continue with those that are not in line with natural acceptance, we drop them. And that also happens in a very natural process. You don't have to force yourself to do anything. It happens very quickly. You just keep observing. And then, you know, you refer to your natural acceptance. And this whole process will happen in a very natural unfolding of events. Okay? Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, if anybody has any other observation, we'll take it. Otherwise, we'll move on to step four of exercise two. Okay, Sunil Ji, can we put step four? Yes. Just to recap very briefly, in step one of exercise two, we try to observe that I, the self, am there. I am one reality. The body is also there. I, the self, am a unit of consciousness. And I can see that I am there because I can see the activities going on within me, the desire, thought, expectation, the imagination that is going on. I can see that. I can also see that the body is there because I can read the sensations from the body. So the body is also there, it exists. In step two, we were trying to observe 
the interaction between the self and the body. So I am giving some instructions to the body. I am reading some sensations from the body. All this that is happening between the self and the body, it is just exchange of information. Instruction is also information. Sensation is also an information. So when we say that the, you know, and the eye, there is a reflection of the tree in the eye. It is an inverted image in the eye. This is also information only. So this interaction that is happening between the self and the body is only in the form of information. Nothing physical is being transferred from one to the other. And if you look at this, you know, in step three, we were trying to ask, who is deciding this whole, you know, interaction? So it became clear that I'm the one who is deciding it. I decide to give instructions to the body as and when I want to. I decide to read specific sensations from the body as and when I want to. So I am the one who is deciding what instruction to give, when to give. I am the one who is deciding what sensation to read, when to read, you know, whenever I think it is important. So all the decisions regarding this exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine. Whenever I want, I interact with the body. Whenever I don't think it is necessary, I might just be busy with myself and not even aware of the body being there. So I am the seer, I am the doer, I am the enjoyer. I am using the body and its five sense organs, the sensations, like using a tool, like how you use your car to go from one place to another. You are using the body and its sense organs to find out about the world outside. But essentially, I am the one who is deciding everything. Now, in step four, let us look at trying to observe the distance between the self and the body. We said that whatever interaction is happening, there is only information. There is no um, physical, nothing is being transferred. There is no hardwired connection between self and body. So, ask yourself, when I am reading the sensation taking place in the body, so any sensation, try and observe. If there is pain in any part of the sensation uh, and in any part of the body, Try to observe that. If there is no pain, just try to observe any sensation in the body and ask yourself, am I that sensation? Can you try to do this observation? Are you the sensation? You can reply in the chat. What do you think? When you ask yourself this and you are reading the sensation from the body, are you the sensation? We are getting some answers. No. If anybody thinks yes also, we can discuss it. Okay. So, we are getting no's, all no's answers. So, I am not the sensation. Am I in the sensation? What do you think? You can reply in the chat again. Are you in the sensation? We are getting a lot of no's. Again, if anybody has any doubt regarding this or anybody feels that there is some, you know, ambiguity here or I'm not sure or anything like that, we can discuss it. 
Now ask yourself, am I at a distance from the sensation? Try to observe this. Am I at a distance from the sensation? Yes or no? What do you think? We are taking a lot of yeses. Okay, how do we say that we are at a distance? Hmm? Anybody would like to share? How do you say that you are at a distance? Find the, I, I can feel the distance because I understand that within every unit there is space, space everywhere, inside body, outside body. But this we have as information. Yeah, yeah. So what is it that, you know, say, if I have the information, there is space, now I have to believe it because I can't see it yet. Or yes, can you I see We are not able to see it, no? We may hmm. not have the competence to see. So how do I say that there is a distance between me and the sensation? If you try to observe the sensation in any part of the body right now, can you do it? Yes, yes. Yes. So it doesn't take any time to go from one place to another place to another place. You can yes. just, whenever mm. you want, you decide to observe some part, you observe it. Yes. I am not the sensation because I can observe it. So I am something more than the sensation. Otherwise, how can I observe it? Isn't it? Yes. I am not also in the sensation because if I am in the sensation, then how can I observe it? I am at a distance from the sensation, that's why I am able to observe it. Yes. So essentially, yes. we are saying the same kind of thing. Hmm. There are two different things. One mm -hmm. is observing and the thing. What is that? The observer and mm -hmm. the to be observed. There are two right. different. Right. Nice. So this is what we are trying to see. Yeah? Yes. Sir. Nice. Thank you. Namaskar, madam. Uh, madam, I have one doubt. Mm -hmm. uh, suppose uh, if I am a, uh, if I am observing means uh, I am different from that. Uh, your, uh, that logic we are uh, telling now, madam. Reason. I mean to say, suppose if it is the self, I am observing the self also, but I am not different from the self. I can yeah, observe. There is a distance between the imagination and from where I am observing. Ah, then okay, madam. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's yeah. That's how you are observing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, in fact, you know, if we could see, if we could have the, you know, when we build our competence. Mm -hmm. We will see that space is everywhere, within us, around us, everywhere, within the self, within the body, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Within the units, outside the units. No? Mm -hmm. Madam. So it is by virtue of being in space that this interaction, you know, as a coexistence can take place. Mm -hmm. Therefore, nothing physical is being transferred. It is just that Information is being passed. Mm -hmm. Similarly, I can see my activities within myself. But mm -hmm. from where I am observing, from there, there is some distance to mm -hmm. what I am observing. Otherwise, how will I observe? Mm -hmm, madam. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is what is being said. Okay, madam. Thank you. Thank you. So I am not the sensation, I am not in the sensation, and there is a distance between me and the sensation. So I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body, from where I am, at a distance from the sensation. That means there is some distance between me and the sensation. Or you can say there is a distance 
between the self and the body me the self and the material body where the sensation is so i can read the sensation but i am not in that so when we say self is in the body i am not in the body i am in association with the body i can read the sensation in the body but i am at a distance from the body this we are trying to do by direct observation can we do this for about 10 minutes we'll try to do this observation and then we'll take questions so if you can just try to observe any sensation in the body if you have any pain in any part any discomfort you can look at that or whatever some sensation that you can read try to see this are you the sensation are you in the sensation or are you at a distance from the sensation we'll try to do this observation for about 10 minutes and then we'll take your questions queries observations i'll mute myself here
I sense only through senses and information. Um, if you see, there are some sensations in the body which you may not be using the sense organs of the body to read. So for instance, or the heart is beating very rapidly, you're able to hear it or you're able to sense that it is beating very rapidly, but you're not using any of those five sense organs. So essentially, you'll see that these five sense organs are giving us information about the outside, about physical facility and so on. But we are also able to, the self is also able to reach sensations taking place within the body for which we are not using these. If there is any question regarding that, we can take that also. And there is something about I can observe through feelings. So we have to be very clear about sensation and feeling. So feeling in the self, when we are saying, we are talking about the feeling at the base of the thought. Whenever we are thinking something, at the base of it, there is some feeling. So this is not to be confused with the sensation that I can appreciate in the body. So the two, we must be clear about what we are talking about. And if we see it within ourselves, it becomes very clear. Yes, there are several hands raised. Jiri, uh, I am feeling a, some kind of sensation in my chest. Uh, it is a kind of uneasiness, uh, and um, it may be a slight pain uh, in in a, at that place. And I uh, try, I, I am trying to understand it through my body and self. Uh, my body uh, gives the information to the to through my to my brain to the self that uh, I am having some pain. And next step, there is a kind of analysis or understanding goes on. And I think that it may be due to several reasons. It may be due to cough and uh, it may be due to gas or many uh, heart related things or even lungs. So I have uh, checked with heart by the ECG and uh, um, ECO, but there was no test. So I thought next, I'm thinking that it may be due to the gas or the cold and cough. So, so I can understand the two distinct things. They are, they are their self and the body, and body, I'm feeling in the body, the senses. So that was my little observation. Nice. It is not something very overpowering or something very intense. Many oh, no. a time during the day you may have forgotten about it. Yes, that happened. Yeah. So when you pay attention, you are noticing it. When you don't pay attention, you don't seem to notice it. Yeah, exactly. Also, you may, sometimes, you know, the conditioning that we have, that makes us pay attention to some things, like the other day we were talking. Supposing somebody uh, mentions or you read in the paper something about heart attacks, starting with pain in the chest, discomfort in the chest. Mm -hmm. Now your thoughts go in that direction. Yes, yes. You may have some anxiety, you may have some fear. So yes, you're paying like, more attention to it. 
Uh. And then you get the heart tests done. Then you get a little relaxed. Okay, it's probably just some indigestion or something. Then many times you don't even notice that pain. Earlier, that same pain was bothering you so much. Now you got some information that the heart seems okay and all, and probably it is some minor indigestion or something gas pain. So now you are relieved, and you say, "Okay, that is something I can deal with." And so now you, it becomes not so important to you. So you don't read that sensation that often. All yeah. this you can observe within yourself. No, thank you. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, Sabhi ko. Uh, Didi, when I was observing myself, I could observe that the moment I have some sensation, I am able to sense it, whether it is pain or I am hearing some birds outside or the temple bells. So how? can i say that there is a distance between me and the sensation because the moment it happens uh, i am able to sense so where is that distance is that distance very small or i am not able to understand this thing see when we are saying distance we tend to see everything through the gross eyes so right now for us distance means Yes. So, yes. Why is yeah. our why can uh, Yes. But if you just try to see this, that when you are reading the sensation, na, when you say this pain, first of all, you said you can read any every sensation as it happens. But is that really true, or you are reading some sensations, not all? There may be so many sensations going on in the body, isn't it? Yes, um, but yes. if I talk about the outside world also, like birds chirping or the temple bells in the morning, because there are very few there sounds. Where are you using the sense organs of the body? Yes. No. Yes. There, too, you can see very clearly that this is something that is coming from outside. Yes. Okay. Yes. But so when... sensations within the body. Okay. Like, for instance, we mentioned pain, or you are having some itching sensation. No? Even hot and cold. Even though this is outside, this you are using the skin. But still, when you notice this sensation. For the outside, I think it is very simple to see, no? That you are hearing some bird outside. Obviously, reaching your ears, no? Then you are interpreting it in some form. Similarly, the similarly the sensation in the body, like Devi Prasanna Mishra, we was discussing right now, and we were. Talking about that, so the sensation that is there, I am reading it, and I am giving some meaning to it, and accordingly, I am responding or reacting to the situation, giving instruction to the body, and so on. But if I if I can see it, na, then I am not that. I am. At some distance from it, that's how I can see it. It's like if you are um, even when we say we are observing something, say you are in a thick of the traffic jam. Hmm? That versus. Say you are standing on top of a high-rise building, and from there you are seeing the traffic. The two are different situations. No, one is when you are within the traffic. One is when you are observing it from a distance. 
that is physical distance in that case isn't it but similarly we can also see within the self also when you are feeling something you know you can observe your feeling you can observe your thought you can observe it because there is some distance if you were that or if you were in that how would you be able to observe it so you are observing something means you are the observer and there is something being observed isn't it yes yes there is yeah so try to see it that way oh okay yeah thank you yes didi yeah when were, when i was observing my sensation for some time only i am able to observe it suddenly a imagination soft preconditioning or sensation comes and takes me away and i just go and get involved in my observation again uh, i feel like telling okay now my uh, task is to observe the sensation so again i'm uh, trying to observe what is happening in me again i'm carried away by the imagination this was my uh, so you are carried away by the imagination or you are you know imagining something and you are getting busy with your own imagination so now you have forgotten about the body ah uh, yes i have forgotten about the body and i'm going in the imagination yes mm. so that also will happen Mm. and like you said when you remember that you have to be observing the body the sensation mm. in the body you come back to observing yes same thing yes. if there is discomfort you may be paying more attention to the body and you may be sure. able to read those you know you may be reading those sensations mm. more frequently and okay. giving different meaning to it try to observe this within your okay. self okay. right now the, there may be no discomfort in the body so mm. this is not so important for you something yes. else is going on in your mind so you are mm. busy with that ah uh, yes but if there was some pain you would probably mm. pay more attention to the sensation mm. in the body isn't it okay. yes ma'am so yes, here you can observe that so mm. much of the time you are not at mm. all even aware of the body you are busy with yourself yes. i would like to um, i mean give my answer in two uh, two ways first when we say like it's my pen my car my bag that is these things belongs to me similarly we say my body that really mm-hmm. in day to day language also it's somewhere um, you know it's somewhere known by by me that it's my body it's like it's not me we never say me body we always say my body first thing so that we there's a clear uh, distance it's not me and second thing about observation i'll say when i was observing uh, then i could feel a little pain at my back but when i was listening to the content and when i was listening to you i was paying attention to whatever you are saying but mm-hmm. during observation i could feel the pain at back and again when i am uh, listening to you my attention is not at the pain mm. so that means yeah. yeah it's like partially to you have already answered when my co explorer asked so this is what i observed nice very nice do you have any question also or no no to the only sharing okay okay, okay one nice. one question i was just asking i uh, mean it came in my mind uh, like if there is a distance i know it's like um, something which i which i can't see through my gross eye if there is a distance then how the information is coming like mm-hmm. what if well, there is a space in between me and body then how mm. this information is traveling through the space and coming to me this is what uh, like, i don't know maybe logically i am thinking so i yeah, just see, uh, again we try to interpret things in the way that we are used to seeing through the gross oh, body right. right no 
I would say there is not a space, but there is space between the units. Right, Shun because we have we have studied you know, that in space also, if like few uh, waves, it can travel in vacuum also, and some cannot. No, we are not talking about vacuum or what space we call in science. This is what I'm saying. Right, right, right. Space here is not physical distance. It's not outer space. It's not vacuum. All that we are not referring to as space. When we say space, we are talking about shunya. Shunya, correct. That very subtle reality, which we may not be able to appreciate right now, mm -hmm. but you know, we can keep it open. We can have it as information. You know, mm -hmm. as we become aware of the higher activities within ourselves, which we are trying to do through the exercises and through the courses and all of that. Mm -hmm. As we become aware of the higher activities, that potential is there in every self to be able to see the space directly. Yeah. So like, as of now, what, we, what is being said is that being in space, this information is being passed between one unit and the other unit. Okay. Between the self and the body. The self and the body, the, the self has made the decision to associate with the body. Right. And whatever information that is being passed between the self and the body, the self is deciding, choosing. Mm -hmm. And it is happening through space. Right. The details we will have to develop our competence to be able to see that. Uh -huh. Didi, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, because from content only, uh, I, I let, whatever I know, like there are in existence, there are space and uh, mm, there are Jad Ikai and uh, Chaitanya Ikai. Mm, material and consciousness. Material and consciousness unit. So that is why my question rises. Like if the three things are there, then how come like information is uh, like traveling? Maybe like as you earlier mentioned also that the every unit have impact on other. So right now I'm thinking like maybe it is due to impact uh, of self and body. It, the information is moving from here and there. See, right now, again, like I said, right now we think of information also traveling by you know through some some method and yeah some distance we are trying to see physical distance if we talk about telepathy there may have been instances in your life right, right, right. many people may have experienced that you are thinking about somebody and that person seems to get that information that you are thinking about them mm -hmm, right that, that person may be sitting miles away mm -hmm. in the US or Africa or UK or somewhere. And you are sitting here in India and thinking about them. Mm -hmm. you know, it happens, mm -hmm. no, sometimes. Right, right. right. You're right. Yeah, so that is also there. True, true. Because we don't understand it, we sometimes think it's not possible. Right, right. But there are many things we don't understand right now. Mm -hmm. it? So there is a lot to understand. Exactly. As we develop our competence, we'll be able to see more and more. Yeah. Right, baby. Right. Thank you so much, baby. Uh, madam, when I was uh, sitting calmly, closing my eyes, I was observing uh, the sound fan. What I observed when I concentrate on it, uh, then I was observing. When I was not concentrating, it's no there. It's not there. Means yes. I am not the sensation, and it itself indicates I am not in that sensation. Also, if I am in that sensation, every time I can sense it. So I am not in it. Also, so mm -hmm. it also indicates the third question. Also, if I am not at a distance, definitely every time I can sense it because I am at a distance. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I can sense immediately, sometimes I can sense, suppose if, even though sometimes if we concentrate on a particular thing, even though something happens beside us, we are unaware of it because we are at a very distance from that. 
sometimes even though at a long distance something happens we can sense it means we are very near to that so we are always a distance from it sometimes maybe less distance sometimes maybe more distance when i concentrate on it then we can say that we are at a uh, means what a, a small distance we are not concentrate on it we are at a longer distance definitely we are at a distance small distance and long distance i would just I say i can say i can say explanation not paying attention yeah 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 because uh, uh, because in terms of distance i am talking the third question so there is some distance it is not i am not in that I'm yeah, not yeah, 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 madam. That you are able to see, no? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, madam. Asking. So what also, ha, uh, okay, finish what you were saying. Ah, uh, what I observed is that. So, if at all any uh, mistake in the observation, could you please correct? No mistake. No, I would say that that is definitely the case. That we can see that you know some sensation is there. Hmm, sometimes madam. we are reading it sometimes we are not ah oh, yes madam if i am in it or if i am that then i will be forced to read it every time definitely I, uh, is not the case yes madam and also you will notice this that many a time like you said that you know you noticed it when you paid attention to it yeah yeah madam now when you are paying attention to something else maybe something else is going on in your thoughts uh, really then not only are you not aware of that sensation you are not aware of the body also at times yeah yeah madam so, suppose somebody hits me hello yes please suppose uh, somebody hits me uh, even though i don't want to concentrate on it i have to concentrate on it na <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> suppose uh, if somebody laps on my body so how are you, how are you like that then uh, even though i don't uh, concentrate on that i am forced to concentrate on that na not forced i would say you pay attention to it because yeah, yeah. Uh, you may yeah. have been busy with your thoughts yeah 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 but something you know some contact with the body or hmm. some words you hear hmm. you come back to that Yes, yes, madam. Again, concentration. Yeah, yeah. Not even concentration. I would just say you pay attention to it, no? Ah, oh, yeah, pay attention. You are aware of it. Really, really, madam. Isn't it? Because sometimes, so even though some people uh, uh, hit sir, some people uh, uh, laps on uh, us. Uh, sometimes we don't uh, uh, sense it. Also, sometimes that also I observed. Yeah, you will notice. Um, because i i'm not paying attention to that oh, yes exactly even things like you know you hear mm -hmm. you are hearing a train yes madam near the railway station mm -hmm. now this if you have to take a train you will be paying attention to which train is coming which is going so any mm -hmm. train sound comes you are looking yes madam supposing you are just sitting at the station you are waiting for somebody to pick you up mm -hmm. now it doesn't interest you so much those trains are still coming and going but you don't pay attention to them because yes. now it's not important for you yes madam now what is important is you are checking your phone are yeah, you yeah. calling did he receive my message or not when is he going to come yeah yeah So my attention is here what is important to us we pay attention to that yes, whatever is not important for us that moment we don't pay attention to it yes madam yeah madam thank you thank you so today this is what we'll be doing we'll if you can move to the assignment of step 4 yeah so we are going to be observing or trying to observe this distance between the self and the body this is what is our assignment for today all day we have to try to observe this that observe are you the sensation are you in the sensation or are you at a distance from the sensation 
and this can be various types of sensations and then tomorrow we will take your observations on this and move forward. So we will stop here.